If you're new to our channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Welcome to the Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener. I'm Joey Baird. We're going to plant garlic today. We plant garlic the first weekend in October each year. You can plant garlic in the spring, however, you need to plant it very early, as soon as you can chisel it in the ground, in order for it to get the proper number of cold hours in order to develop the bulbs uh, and the cloves correctly. We've attempted this with mild success. So we find that planting in the fall, we then harvest it in June, early July, and we get very nice large bulbs of garlic. We get very small bulbs when we harvest it in the, if we plant in spring and harvest it in the, in the later fall. So what we've got here is you want to plant your garlic approximately 30 days before your first hard freeze. This way it puts the, the, it allows the garlic clove to get established in the ground before it kind of goes in the dormancy. Now, you can prepare your garlic bed as we have here. We just flipped the soil over and we created trenches or drills that are about three inches deep. That's about the, the area in which you want to go. Two to three in the ground. If you're in a raised bed, you can go, you know, about four inches. It'd be fine. You want to keep in mind that we're planting this now in fall. It's going to be here until mid-spring, early summer. So there's a lot of time taken up by the garlic. However, it's well worth growing homegrown garlic. And you can save your cloves year after your, 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 your garlic year after year and replant it. We've got a number of varieties and we don't differentiate. We just grab the largest bulbs that contain the largest cloves to plant, which gives us the best opportunity to have large garlic bulbs again. We've, we have grown and we grow Spanish Roja, German Hardy, Georgia Crystal, Purple, I think it's Galaxy, and I think there's another variety in there that, that um, we have forgotten. So now the preparation for your garlic is a couple of things. One, you want to leave it intact until you're ready to plant or a few days prior to that. You want to leave the skins on. We could pre-soak this. That is also a, a, a procedure in which you can do. Uh, the only disadvantage in pre-soaking it is you need to make sure you know the number of cloves in which you need so you don't pre-soak 16, you only need 45, then you got to figure out what to do with the remaining uh, 15. You can pre-soak it in compost tea in water, just something to hydrate it. So, if you don't go that route, we can do it as we're going to. We are going to take and break off the cloves here. Now there is some skin missing on this one and there's some damage there, but this one is just fine. You can see, you can see the size of the cloves here that we've got. These are hard neck and you can tell it's a hard neck because from the root to the stem, the stalk goes all the way through. Hard neck is more recommended for the colder climates of the northern portions of the United States. Soft neck does grow, but it doesn't grow by some gardeners' expectations as well as hard neck. We've only grown hard neck. We found great success with it. So we're going to get this planted in the ground here, and I'll show you how we do that. Okay, so in order to break this open, you just kind of snap the top there, and you might damage some of the cloves, which I have done one. I've damaged one cloves here. Uh, snap the top off of that one, but we can go ahead and use that for edible consumption, not planting. So, based on your type of variety of garlic, you may only have four cloves per bulb. You may have 12 or 15. If there's no standard set, it's based on the variety, on the number of cloves in which you get in your garlic. These are very nice sized cloves. And even if you have a smaller clove, such as this one, it will still grow garlic and you may get a decent sized bulb. This one here, you're going to get a decent sized bulb. So keep that in mind. Now, we've got three rows here. This bed is about three and a half foot wide, 10 foot long. And we're just going to plant them about four inches deep. We're not going to fertilize them at all right now. We're just going to let them get established. You want to put the teardrop, you want to put the point up and the root system down. Uh, they don't grow very good if you go the opposite way. We're going to put these in about eight inches uh, uh, spacing. The book or the internet will say you need about 12. We found that eight works very, very well. And you don't really need a, a ruler or a measuring tape. You just kind of eyeball it. Uh, they're going to grow just fine. Then we're going to not fertilize. We'll fertilize in the spring because we do not want 
established growth. We want some growth of root development uh, this fall. And do not be concerned when you see these things start coming through the ground and start putting some green growth on the top. It's going to happen. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, and then it's going to go into dormancy and then it'll be ready for spring. So we've got those planted. We'll cover those up and we'll be good to go. I'll do the other ones. Now, do you mulch them? Do you not mulch them? We've never mulched our garlic. We've had very successful garlic on very, very cold record-breaking winters. If you do choose to mulch it with a layer of leaves or straw, you just want to do one or two inches, just a small layer. And we attempted to mulch many years ago when we didn't understand the garlic planting procedure, and we put about 18 inches of straw on top of it and virtually smothered it out. So small amount, and in the spring you want to pull that back. But in our experience, you don't really need to mulch at all. So that's how you plant garlic. We'll cover this over and we'll walk away and we'll check on it before the freeze comes. There'll be a little growth, a little green growth, uh, three or four inches probably before winter occurs. And then it'll be fine. And then in spring, you'll mulch it or you'll remove the mulch if you have any. Top dress it with compost or some fertilizer. And then by June, you'll have scapes. And by July, you'll have garlic. Thanks for watching. Join me again next time. Remember, rate, subscribe, and comment. This has been the Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener. For more information, please visit thewisconsinvegetablegardener.com.